Okay. Uh, hi, students. Uh, I'm Mr. Lamini, lecturer for computer practice in six. Uh, today's lesson uh, is focusing on page numbering, uh, special page numbering that involves section breaks. And then we'll also look at how do you change the page orientation uh, on one page in a document or how do you change margins only on one page in a document okay uh, okay uh, to start uh, we'll start with the numbering uh, we assume that uh, as you can see we, this is a uh, the uh, first page which we treat as a covering page of the letter or the book and then here is your table of contents so you don't want to numbering on the first page and the second page which is the table of, of content page you want our numbering to start from the third page but as it starts from the third page it must start counting from one so how do you do that because you don't the first thing I would like us to activate the paragraph code. Then, because you want our numbering to 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 start from page three, which means page one and two, this is the second page where we don't want numbering. The end. So the end of the page where we don't want numbering. Instead of page break, we will put a section break. We go to layout, then breaks, then under section breaks, we choose the next page break. It does the same thing that is done by page break, but it also has a section break. So that section break will allow us to treat these two sections different. Page one and two is on its own section. From page three is another section. So we will be able to treat them differently the footer and the head so let's assume we want our numbering to be center bottom center which is the footer so how do you do that once you've done the page break uh, then you go to the third page where you want the numbering to be you double click Mm. you double click then we want it centered we press your tab key it takes you to the center before you insert the number you say link to previous you deactivate link to previous there it must be deactivated uh, that will make sure that we don't get numbers on the pages before this one then once that is done you then insert the page number then current position because i've already placed the cursor there then it's inserted but you will notice that it starts with at number three but let's check if we don't have it you see but it's not there on the second page because we deactivated the link to previous and then it is also not there on the first page so that is in order so what is left is to make the page number start from one even though it's page three but we want it to start with page one how do you do that you go to page number then you say format page number then you click here start at you want it to start at one then you say okay although it's page three but it's starting from one then on top we don't have a page number here we don't have a page number here but here it's one then it continues and so on that's what we want so i think you've noticed how to insert page numbers somewhere in your document please keep repeating this one so that you can excel and do it properly but it's good that's how we do it 
Okay. Then another thing, maybe you can be requested that page, this page, which is page, let me close the header, exit the full timing. Then you are requested that page, the fourth page, <coughs> Um, must be landscape. How do you do that? Uh, another way of doing it, you can do the same, apply the same way. Instead of a page break here, you put a set layout, page breaks, then you select under section page, next page before the page that you want to change. You put the section break, and after, at the end of that page, you also put a, a section break. It is next page. So breaks, section breaks, next page. There we go. So now, this page is on its own section. Now you can do as you please, because it's on its own. Then you go to orientation you will see even if i prefer you to go to page layout and then because your cursor is on this page you see it says this section because you inserted the break section break before and after the page at the end of the page so it allows you to select only this page then you say landscape then okay then you can see only this page has changed the orientation. I hope you can see, students. Mm. And also, let's say you are requested to change the margins, all the margins on this page, only this page to 1.27 centimeter. Let's assume that's what they want 1.27 centimeter. How do you do it? You put a cursor. Then under margins, you go to page layout. Then you choose margins. And then you will put the margins that are, uh, you are looking for. All the margins must be one point. Must be one point two seven. All the margins. One point two seven. Comma two seven. Then you say okay, and the margins have changed. Only on this page, 1.27, all the margins. But if you go to the other page, you will find that it's still not 1.27. It has changed only on that page. So those are the things that you need to know to insert a page numbers from a selected pages. Not in all pages, you must be able to do that. And you must be able to change the orientation only on a, a certain page and the margins on the specific page. Uh, thank you. That is the end for today.